What a day it has been so far as we welcome you back to Antwerp, Belgium, here in the Flanders region where we've seen our play-in games and now our quarterfinals are about to get underway. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice, in your ear. The fans are back with their umbrellas as we do have some light showers going down, but it looks like it's beginning to dissipate. Here's a look at the women's bracket. The reigning defending champs, China, will take on Belgium. That's much later. Our first women's quarterfinal and again, win or go home situations. As all these teams are going for gold, Canada and the United States. So a North American clash as the Plouffe sisters with Paige Crozon and Casey Bosch will try to pull off an upset. We saw this Canadian team get revenge over the Germans in the play-in game. Revenge from the Women's Series Final. The Canadians getting loose, doing the shoulder shimmy to get into this one. And they know that how big it would be to beat the United States. Man, what the, that USA men's win over New Zealand was insane. This United States women's team has not lost a single game yet. They beat New Zealand. They beat Austria by two. They beat Brazil by four. It took them overtime to do it, but they beat France as well. So they've taken down some top competitors en route to coming to this quarterfinal stage unscathed. The leading scorer for all women is Haley Van Lith. She's been getting buckets. 31 points for her. She's averaging 7.8 per game. Meantime, Sierra Burdick with 13 highlights. That's number three coming out of pool play. Nobody's got more blocks than Cox. Lauren, that is nine blocks for Lauren Cox. That leads both the men's and women's competitions. These two leading officials will handle the duties in this game. Yasmin Uris and Cecilia Tort. A former Olympian. Can you ever be a former Olympian? No. I was correct myself. The Olympian, Michelle Plouffe. She's been getting it done, too. Top five in all major categories for uh, the women. Highlights, block shots, and of course, of course points scored. Van Lith, number four on that highlights list. She. You won't find many better highlights than her score in overtime against France. The double cross and the pull up from the left wing won it for the Americans. She looks focused and ready to go here on this fifth day of action. She's joined by Ashley Jones, the Iowa State product. Sierra Burdick of the Seattle Storm. And Lauren Cox, the LA Sparks. So here we go. They're getting warmed up. We hadn't cooled down yet. It has been turned. There's Darcy Koss. What's up, Darce? You can see who he's cheering for. Good to see him out checking out the 3x3 action. We got all the important people here checking out uh, the action out here. Of course, the Belgian fans. They are here in full effect. And again, light showers. That session break came right at the right time, actually, because we didn't have to worry about any of that rain hitting the court. Only rain we got to think about now is which players start making it rain. Is it old Canada or the red, white, and blue? USA with the bullseye firmly on their back, although the women have not won a gold medal in eight years. USA with five medals, three of them gold. One of those goals belongs to the men from 2019, two of them for the women's teams of 2012 and 2014. And 2012 team was led by Skylar Diggins-Smith, Bria Hartley, Cheney Ogunike. 
They won it again in 2014, the USA women. But they have not got it done since then. On that 2014 team was Sierra Burdick. She's now the Wiley 3x3 veteran on this quartet. Van Lift's got experience too as a U18 gold medalist and MVP. The new additions, Lauren Cox and Ashley Jones have had nice showings to this point as well. The time for talk is over. It's time to get to business. Van Lift getting the blood circulating. Everybody's got their game faces on, and now it is on. Quarterfinals from here in Antwerp. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice in your ear. I'll be near her waiting all the way through. As long as my voice holds up, they, they've been having me screaming. That shot off the rim. Plouffe with the up fake. Pass Cox. She's going to put up the reverse. It does not drop. Cox is going to corral the rebound. Burdick makes her move left. She's got Cox slipping to the bucket. Plouffe. Pokes her hand in there. She's saying that's off blue. Burdick's like, nah. It's going to be USA ball with six seconds to shoot. Van Lith to the left. Set up Burdick, but the defense on the inside from Catherine Plouffe prevents the make. Take another look. Burdick just briefly lost it for a second. And that allowed the block shot to happen. Crozon with the move past Jones, but that one is blocked. This is what Cox does. Everybody's blocking. It's a block party. Crozon gets in on the action. Neither team has scored as of yet. We're only 45 seconds in. Van Lith with the move, but she lost her footing at the rim. So the ball back over to the Canadians. Canada finishing third at the America just last year. That's a bronze medal for them, but the Americans also took gold there. So gold medal at the first ever Olympic Games that featured 3x3 as a discipline. That went to the USA women. Of course, two gold medals here at the FIBA 3x3 World Cup. And a gold medal at the America. The USA is setting a standard of excellence in the women's 3x3 competition. Led by Coach Kara Lawson. Olympic champion herself. Jones does her dance. Long on the two release. Michelle to Cat, Cat to Michelle. Bluth, there it is. Two piece. As Canada draws first blood, Burdick drops the shoulder. Muscles one up and in. Nice cut from Bluth, but she'll swing it. But there's Burdick with the thievery. Jones. Tries to come clear. She's got Bosch harassing her. That shot goes begging. Ploof thought about it. Instead, she's going to get it over to Catherine. Bosch now. Uh, off the target. On the pass. Ploof had a step, but the Canadians waste the possession. Van Lift sprints to the block. She's going to come out. They're waiting for her to come around. Nobody scored more buckets than she has. She comes up empty. This time, Catherine Plouffe taking her time. She's going to head to the line to shoot one. So Catherine Plouffe, a four-time Women's Series stop winner. A formidable player in her own right. And she's going to knock down the free throw. Van Lift left alone. Back, re back rim. Bosch 
She can't drop it. Crozon there is, she can't clean up the mess. Cox setting up shop. The six foot four, Cox elevates, but that one's gonna fly out of bounds. So while USA didn't lose a single game in route to their spot directly in the quarterfinals, Canada, their loss came to Spain. That was it, though. Again, coming off a win in the play-in round over Germany, the top overall seed in the women's competition. Casey Bosch will step up to the stripe. She'll shoot one with the Canadians leading by two. Make that three. It's 4-1. Vertical handed off, Haley, middle of the paint. Shot too strong, Burdick though, battling underneath. Van Lith, locked down, or so I thought. Bosch puts her on the bucket list. Burdick with the dribble drive. Van Lith going strong to the cup. Rattles off the rim. Plouffe gets it back. She'll pull the trigger. Front iron. Van Lith. The lefty stroke wasn't stroking. Here's Bosch. Nowhere to go but up. That ball over to the Americans. Looking to cut into this lead. Van Lith cuts to the cup. She draws the foul on the way. She'll shoot a free throw when we come back from a quick break in the action, a TV timeout. As we listen in to the Canadians. Secondary action, secondary action. Okay, keep attacking them really good deep. Yeah, on a, if we get a dribble, because we're getting a dribble often, pass and then go get an off ball action. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then we can curl. And then we can curl. Yeah, we can curl. Here we go. Together. One, two, three. Together. So the Canadians will try to exercise some off-ball action. So we got to eavesdrop in that huddle a little bit. No worries about any of the strategy being shared. There's no coaching in 3x3. So they'll, they won't even hear about this until they watch the highlights, maybe. Two-point contest. Plouffe going at Van Lith. She kicks it out to her sister. And the twins don't connect that time. Van Lith, hand up. So what? The Americans within one. Plouffe to Plouffe. She sets her sister up for the sixth score. For the Canadians, they just pick up their third foul. Burdick, dime to Cox. Easy breezy. Back and forth we go. Plouffe doing her dance. Cox doing a good job staying in front of her. Jones. Crozen, no. <laughs> Trying to get the steal. Michelle grabs some jersey. She gets whistled for the fourth foul on Canada. Two more to give before they are in the penalty. As the action rolls on, Cox will start at top of the key. Sets the screen, Burdick, middle of the paint. Up and in. It's a flex zone. Strong scores. We're even at six. Go, oh, Ploof. Saw that one roll off the rim. Here comes Cox to Van Lith. That stroke was broke. And a foul on USA. So Michelle Plouffe will start this one from the logo. Here we go. Past the halfway mark. 
and all even. Women's quarterfinal action from here in Antwerp. Michelle Plouffe at six foot three. No shoving. Now go to the back of the line. So the offensive foul will give it back over to the Americans. CB up top. AJ. No. Van Lith is in. The World Cup gold medalist is out. Burdick getting the rest. Van Lith showing that intensity defensively up top. Here's Cox has a tough assignment. Ploof spins. She cuts that pass just off target. As the Canadians were not on the same page. Michelle is out. Catherine is in. Burdick going to the spin move. Cox straight on two. No. Burdick, though, stand active defensively. She's everywhere like Adams. Always providing that energy on this American team and that veteran leadership in a game where, again, there's no coaching. Van Lift will kick it. Jones has it rejected. Catherine waiting for Casey to come around. Bosch has played so well on this Canadian team to this point. They turn it over that time around. 6-6 it stays. Van Lith with the up fake. She's going to kick it out. Jones, high arc on the two. It rattles off the iron, out of bounds. So another break, TV timeout. And another chance for us to listen in close to Canada. Okay, bring it back out, restream. Okay. Or whenever, whenever Cox has come down on a shot, someone flash. Yes. Shot maker, pass that cut. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Together, let's do it. So trying to deceive the Americans with movement. Up fake back cut. We'll see if they can execute what their strategy is. Good movement. That one deflected with a foot. So a fresh 12 for Canada as Bosch will start it at the logo. Bosch, the 25-year-old, that she's the youngster on this team. <laughs> she was confused as to where to go. She's getting that direction from the Plouffe sisters who have been around the 3x3 block. They try to get it down on the block and it's stolen away. Jones, step back, dribble drive to the left, up fake. Ball over to Canada, quick clear to the corner. No. Offensive foul. You got to be set when you're setting those screens. It's a point of emphasis. Also, we haven't seen the call uh, in this game, but players cannot have their back to the basket for more than three seconds once they've initiated a dribble. Another thing to keep an eye on. Look at that bullet pass. Michelle gets the two look, but it's a miss. Cox. It's faded on the turnaround. 7 7. Curls up. Baseline. Swing out. Ploof. Chunks the deuce. It's a miss off the iron. Somebody's got to rebound it. Curls comes in and steals it. Cat with the swish. Van Lith wants to answer back. 
That ball caught wing straight out of bounds. Canada's lead at two. Number two with the two. Nine seven. Ploof will hand it off to Bosch. Back to Ploof. Ploof kicks it to her sister. Right back at you. She sets her up with a person named Wilson. She likes the relationship. They're a duo. 11-7. Another nice pass. Sister, sister, like Tia and Tamara. Five-point lead for the Canadians. Tough attempt by Van Lift. Burdick doesn't get it up in time. So the USA, they'll huddle back up. And they want a timeout. They want to talk it over. And that's one of the things that not only do they find it's a challenge, but one of the things that they like about 3x3. That there, there are no coaches. So players have to kind of self-regulate. They have to solve problems internally. So it eliminates that need for players to get information on the outside, like they typically get in five on five. It, there's no bench to go to, no coach to look to and say, okay, we're, here's what we do. Truly a unique game. Ploof. Not that time. Van Lift gets it. The dangerous Van Lift. Flips the wrist, swish delicious. Cat Ploof, no. We just saw the American men pull off a dramatic comeback with a minute 15 left in this one. USA trailing by four. Whoa. These goals ain't loyal. Van Lift's two is a miss, and Ploof has it poked away. But on, only a two possession game. In 3x3, 12 second shot clocks. So there will be adequate opportunities for the Americans to trim into this four-point lead that the Canadians are currently enjoying. Bosch, she wants to put them away. She puts the two up. It goes begging off the rim. Van Litt with Bosch in front. She takes the screen. Two toes behind the line. Get that out the bottom of the net. H2O as it's a 12-10 game. Jones now, drive, step back. She wants one for herself. That two is short. Michelle, down to Catherine. She's thinking about it. They got three to shoot. Bosch on the cut, missed the layup, but a whistle on the Americans. Take another look, yep. Van Lith, whistle for that foul, you can see her. 27 seconds left. And one uh, foul shot attempt here for Bosch. She knocks it down. Big possession here for USA. Van Lith. Oh, v Bosch is leaking from the forehead. I didn't see where she even took the shot. Yeah, she's gonna have to get some uh, attention very quickly. We got a bleeder. Oh, that's where it happened, the elbow. Uh, unintentional elbow, it definitely was inadvertent, but that will open you up. Bosch played through it. I didn't even know if she, somebody had to tell her she was bleeding. 13-10, and as Canada can put it away, Cox throws it away, but it ends up in Catherine Plouffe's hands. She lands the jumper, and it looks like the Americans' neighbors to the north aren't very neighborly. With two seconds left, USA is not going to have enough time 
to tie this game unless something incredible happens. It would take a two-point make. It would take a two-point make with a foul. That would be put them in the penalty, but they're going to just give Van Litt the look, and that is it. How about Canada? They pull off an upset over the previously unbeaten Americans here in the quarterfinals. So their eight-year drought of uh, not having a gold medal will continue for the American women. It is the Canadians who will come out of this victorious. They will play on day number six on to the semifinals as USA will come up short. Tough win for Canada. They did earn it. Michelle Plouffe is standing by with Julian DeBove after that big win over USA. Ju. Michelle, any, any win against the USA in basketball is something special. How do you feel right now? I am just super proud of our team. We came in here to us. We thought we could get to the podium, but I think to other people we were an underdog. So I'm just so proud of how we fought through each match, coming back from the Spain loss, playing our butts off against Netherlands, and having a match this morning, and a huge win against the US. So I'm just so proud of my teammates. All this traveling in 2019, 2021, going to Romania, to all over Europe, Asia, at the Women's Series, how much did it help you know, in this tournament? Oh yeah, the Women's Series has just, the competition has been getting better and better. Each year that we've played in it, we've seen the level of the women, the talent that comes on the court is getting better. And that's what we want for the game. And that's what we want to help ourselves progress. So I'm just so happy to play in the Women's Series and I'm so happy to be here in Antwerp. All right, see you, see you tomorrow in the semifinals then. Thank you. And congratulations to Canada. They believed in themselves the entire time. They'll celebrate in the back a bit. And hats off to the Americans as well. Team USA with a new squad this year. They will come up just short. Their first loss comes at a time where they couldn't have it. This is elimination day and only the best will move on. And Canada proved to be the best in this one. Look back at the highlights. Paige Crozen thought she was cruising to a layup, but she was swatted. But then Paige said, oh, I can, I can do that too. She shows the defense. Michelle Plouffe was a terror. From the moment we checked first ball, Bosch battle took a shot later in the game, accidental shot that opened up her forehead. Cox doing work on the inside, but this was a double trouble, without a doubt, as the Plouffe sisters were putting on a show like halftime. Michelle, wet. You can tell that they, uh, they definitely have the chemistry intact on this Canadian team. And while Haley, Haley Van Lith starred on this American team here in Antwerp, better balance for the Canadians. And the last shot puts them through to the semifinals. Another look at the bracket as we head into the men's first quarter final. Oh my goodness. Serbia and Latvia this early? Well, <laughs> I think a lot of people had these teams penciled in as favorites with the return of Batman. Carlos Lasman is back on this Latvian team as they try to earn their first World Cup gold. Nobody's got more gold medals at the World Cup than Serbia. Four. Dejan Majstorovic has been here for three of them. He wants his fourth. He wants to be the most decorated Serbian 3x3 player of all time. He's joined by Marko Brankovic, a.k.a. Brankila. Dr. Strange, the world number one. Stefan Stojicic and the Manimo. Their leading scorer, by the way. Mihailo Vasic. Shout out to my guy Lucha. All the way back in Serbia. Where you at? Belgrade, it's his birthday. I know you're celebrating. And we'll see if uh, your Serbian compatriots will add to your celebration. They're getting warmed up. But out come Latvia. Gold medal winners at the Olympic Games, the same Olympic Games that Serbia took a bronze at. Mihailo Vasic, 
and Dejan Majstorovic, members of that Olympic team. Three Olympians representing on his Latvian team, Lasmanis Miezis Chavars. Artur Strelnix is a reliable fourth member of this Latvian quartet, and here we go. This is a clash of the titans, personified. Serbia started off slow. They did not look like the typical Serbia in their first two pool play games. It was close. They came back to beat New Zealand. They came back from seven to beat Puerto Rico. Then day two of pool play, they took care of business. 22 to seven over Brazil, 22 to 15 over France. There's Dr. Strange, world number one. Strainia Storicic. They got a collection of World Tour winners, World Tour final MVPs, gold medalists. Norris Mies is a European champion and a World Tour final champion as well with Team Riga. It's the only thing he's missing. It's the only thing that many of the Serbians are missing outside of Dejan Majstorovic. Somebody is going to keep their hopes for gold alive in the next 10 minutes. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice in your ear. I've been waiting for this one. I'm, look at that dime to Chavars. The maze sets up Chavars. Brankovic, the lay is missed. These two teams know each other like they're brothers. They have had many play dates over the years. And they have all been intense. So much respect between these two countries in 3x3. As Vosic, soft touch, bottoms, 1-1. Lasmanis to Strelnix. He patiently puts that one up and in. Majstorovic, he's rejected, but not without a foul. The Maestro. He will shoot two. He won a gold medal with Serbia in 2016. He took a silver with Serbia in 2014. He won gold in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back years. And a member of that undefe undefeated 32-0 Novi Sad team on the Pro Tour, where they won four championships. Very few have the type of accolades of the maestro as he gives a string music from the line. It's 2-2. Oh, Miezis is just beat up by the Manimal. And he knows that he can't challenge that foul call, but that, that's called an unsportsmanlike foul. And you be the judge here on whether or not the maze, was he acting? Or did he really get fouled that hard? I don't know. He hit the deck pretty hard. He's got to shake it off, that's for sure. You remember that Latvia beat Serbia en route to their first European title back in 2017. The Aces had braces back then. He, he looked like a growing boy back then. He's a fully grown man now. And one of the most respected hoopers in 3x3. In terms of the head-to-head, -head, Latvia's two and four in the last six meetings in international competitions. As the free throw goes down. The mice stroke from the corner, missed it. Vasquez to Dr. Strange. The release is sweet. One point advantage for the Serbs. Miezis drops it off, Las Manis gets a look. They want to run him off the two point arc. He can't find the target. Mike Stroh to the hole, but he blew it. Dr. Strange will make his move to the left. He's tripped up. He quickly gets it over to Vasque. Vasque gets it to his Prata as the Maestro lays it up and in.
Miesis. Two is too strong. Dr. Strange now setting up shop. They got eight to shoot. Stoyacic and the Maestro, both members of Team Oob. They do not connect for a score. So we will get a break. I thought we'd get a break in action. Nobody called timeout. So we, we play on. Play on, play on. 5-3. <laughs> Las Manis. Stroke was broke, so Strainia, as he was trying to get it to Vasic. Vasic has called for the offensive foul, number four on Serbia. Down low to Chavars. He makes easy work of the beast. Oh, Dr. Strange lost his foot. And he's now down. Chavars puts it up. Las Manas can't come away with the rebound. Strainia with a change of direction. He hangs. These teams battling. You see Strain, you're grabbing his rib cage. Oh, quick little chicken wing. Las Manas elbowed him in trying to get that rebound. I think they're going to take a look at it and, and see if that should be upgraded or not. Depends on if you feel like it's a, it was intentional or not. We're going to find out very quickly. These two teams also obviously met at the Tokyo Olympic Games en route to uh, Latvia's gold medal. Latvia actually lost that contest to Serbia, as Serbia went undefeated in the group phase at the Olympic Games, but they lost in a tough semifinal to ROC. Latvia ended up cruising the goal. They beat ROC in the title game. Las Manas, the runner, finds the bottom of the net. We're all even at five apiece. Brankovic, no. Strelniks, no string music. So a 5-5 game. Third foul on Latvia. This game is tighter than 80s pants. <laughs> Those of you who remember the 80s probably remember that. <laughs> we get a a uh, brief break as we break into the Serbian huddle. Again, all even at five apiece. All right, up steps, Strainia Stojicic. Again, the world number one. Oh, Strainia. It bounces out on him. Las Manis will quickly let it go. Oh, these goals ain't loyal. Close misses for both teams as Vasic will swing it. Stojicic sets his feet. All net, all wet. Serbia takes a two-point advantage. Dr. Strange down low to Vasquez. He's pushing the back by Strelniks. A fifth foul on the Latvians. Trying to corral the manimal. 
That is not an easy task. Doctor Strange, he just did something strange to Batman as the two superheroes collide. They utilize the cloak of deception. Eight five. Around comes Las Manas. The lefty to the left. Miss. Recovers his own miss. Miezis. He decides better of it. Resets. Uh oh. He faked him like a Fendi bag. In and out. And now the maestro will answer. He finishes with the lay. Serves back in front by three. Miezis. Deep two. No. Chavars, rebound, yes. Mysorovic, the most experienced player in this competition. Five World Cups now under his belt. Dr. Strange. 10-7. Oh, Miezis had it rattle out. So the maestro will start at top of the key. Stoichich waiting for the screen. He's got it. Steps back, drops it off to Vasque. Las Manas wasn't having it. Batman. Hand up through the shot off. He's going to let that go. And Stoichich is pumped up. He took some extra time off to get healed. Had a leg injury. But Dr. Strange is looking just fine. His team leads it by three as the maze drives and kicks. Chavars will get it back. Flopping technical called on Serbia. So Las Manas will shoot the free throw. So the MVP of the Olympic Games cannot connect at the line. Possession goes to Latvia because of the tech. The officials are saying that's enough talking. We're at the midway point, and the Serbs lead it by three. The maze lets it fly. Too long. Somebody's got to come up with the Wilson. It's the Latvians. Miezis with Dr. Strange in pursuit. The maze. Puts it up on the maestro, it's short. Batman gives it back. And Miezis got him off his feet and is able to get, well, not the score, but at least a trip to the strike. Ninth foul on Serbia. <laughs> Dr. Strange is still acting on the court. He's demonstrating what Miezis did. And Miezis just knocked down the free throw. The former world number one gets two at the strike. One point game. Stoichich with the pocket pass. Vasic with the filthy reverse. You talk about a jelly. <laughs> oh, dime time. Miezis to Las Manas. Now things starting to heat up even more. Both teams in the penalty defensively. Stoichich lets it go. Stroke was broke. Miezis, left wing is where he starts. And the Latvians not shooting the two as well as they have to this point. This is one of those games, though. This is going to come down very likely to the wire. 
One of those games could be decided in the last possession. That's how it goes down between Latvia and Serbia. Both teams need a break. They get a break. And we will listen in to that Latvian huddle. Couple more looks at that reverse from Vasic. That was a thing of beauty. He's a combo of the beast and the beauty. That shot rolls off the rim. One point lead for the Serbians as they'll try to extend it. The maestro, no string music. Las Manas calling for a screen. He gets to the top of the key. Strings. Foul on Strelniks as the Latvians are catching the Serbians in the foul category. That's eight on Latvia. Serbia with nine. So Serbia in, in jeopardy of the double penalty with the next defensive foul. But as for now, it's Vasic, the 2021 World Tour final MVP, Europe Cup gold medalist, an Olympic bronze medalist. Touches a little iron, but that one goes down. The Manimal taking his time. And the lone member of Lehman on this national team represents the strike. Uh-oh. The Maze. He's got the maestro lost. Somebody getting directions. 13-13. Dr. Strange with the step. He finishes it and gives the Serbs the lead again. Nobody there to defend Viezas. He makes easy work. A little kiss off the glass. Stoichis thought about the two. Instead, he's going to hit Vasic on the cut. That's a score, plus the foul. Two free throws will come as well. Serbia can extend this lead to 17-14 if Vasic can handle business at the line, which we just saw him do. A box office matchup between two heavyweights in 3x3. Olympic gold medalist and Olympic bronze medalist for a chance to play in the semifinals here in Antwerp. Vasic knocks it in. Three-point lead for Serbia. Las Manis with the lay. Second violation. Two twenty to play. The two point lead for Serbia. By no stretches, that a safe lead in three x three. You saw that in the USA New Zealand game. Las Manas hand up. So what? Take that with you as he gives it to the maestro. We're all even. Now the maestro, he misses it. He saves it. Back to the maestro, but hold on. Shot clock. We're gonna say five should be left on. Oh, he's saying hold on. We'll figure out just how much time should be on the shot clock. Meantime, both teams will regroup a little bit. They'll get some extra time as Edmund Ho will get the clock, clock, shot clock situation set.
So Serbia will get nine seconds here in a 17-17 game. It's been as good as advertised. Nine fouls apiece and all even in the scoreboard. Dr. Strange runs out of time. Lockdown defensive possession for the Latvians. As they will play forward with their three Olympians. The Serbians with their two Olympians on the court along with the Beast. Batman against the Manimal. Iso. Off the miss, here comes Serbia now. Minute 30 to play. Mysotovic going to work out by the Enlio logo. He hit that one from Belgrade. 19-17. Offensive foul called as the ball goes back over to Serbia with a two-point lead timeout on the court. These two working on another classic. We've seen so many over the years. 2017 until now. Look at this bomb from the maestro. Around comes Mysotovic. Oh, yeah, Miezis tripped him up accidentally, but yeah, that that was one that deserved the whistle. I mean, you you can't not blow the whistle there. Miezis can't believe it, but it is clearly a foul and a warning for Latvia. Sometimes unfortunate to get your legs tangled up like that, but. So Serbia lead this thing 19 to 17. Not only will they get two free throws here, but they'll get possession as Latvia is in the double penalty. No better, I was gonna say, no better hands to have this in than Maestro. Nobody's played more World Cups than him. He sees the first one rattle off. He's gonna compose himself. And the second one rattles in. Mysotovic making the moves as he lost the maze. And he gives him a taste that the game-winning shot from the maestro. No string music has been sweeter. As Dejan Mysotovic and his quartet of Serbians hear it from the crowd. They top Latvia and will head to the semifinals. Who else but him? Who else but the maestro? Take a look at the soundtrack. Maestro making the moves on Miezis. He gets a clear look and he drops the bomb from long range that puts it away. Dejan Majstorovic. The four-time gold winner standing by with Julian Dubov after that win. Ju. No deja vu for them this time. Dejan, I, I could see it uh, in your eyes after missing one of the two free throws that you wouldn't like to, you know, lose the semifinals or lose the quarterfinals because of this, and you would make sure to make the last shot. You asked me why I missed the free throw? No, 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 no. I no. didn't hear you. I said we could see it in your eyes after missing one of the free throws that would not, you would not let this game slip away like this. Yes, I can finish the, the game with the free throws. I missed the first one. It's always difficult against a team like Latvia to, to finish the game in that way. But uh, I have a lot of confidence. I know I'm going to make it on the end. I try to go to back door, but he play a good defense. I stay alone too. I score. That's very important. And thanks to my teammates, 
they was amazing this game. They showed the character, and we deserve this win. We had a we had an interview just a few days ago where you said that this shot that Miezi scored in the World Cup in 2019, this shot against uh, Latvia at the World Cup in the semi-finals, really destroyed you, and for a week you couldn't do anything. As you said, no déjà vu this time. It will, you would not let it happen this time. You know, Miezi and Las Manis. A lot of time, a lot of time score in my face for the win. It was my time this time. Uh, and I don't know what to say. They, these two players are beasts. It's very difficult to stop them one on one. They play just one on one. They are amazing players and we expect them honestly. We want to play them in final. Nobody wants Latvia in quarter final. So this was the most important day for us. We need to stay calm and to be ready tomorrow for semi final. All right, congratulations, man. Thank you. So, a pro response from the most seasoned 3x3 player at the World Cup stage. Dejan Majsorovic and Serbia moving on to the semifinals to play tomorrow against their longtime rivals, Latvia, who beat them at the 2019 World Cup semis, where Latvia will end up taking silver. They remember that well. That in mind, the Serbians came out playing hard. Both teams actually were playing their hardest. Midway through, we had no idea who would win the game. It was all even. They continued to trade the lead like neither one wanted it. Some close misses. And a kind of a foul heavy game for sure. Saw Latvia getting the double penalty with 11 fouls and Serbia getting to nine fouls. You won't see a better reverse than that. I don't care how good you parallel park. The Manimal putting on a show, as was the Maze. Lasmanis stepped back two piece. This is where you thought. Maybe Latvia will steal this one away. But Dr. Strange and company, they had concocted something different. That winning recipe is the maestro. With Piazza's on him, he got rid of him. Great screen from Vosic that gets the maestro that look that he wanted. And he's going to deliver the kill shot. Two to the head. Over with. The Latvian flags are being rolled up and put up until the next World Cup going down next year. Next up on our schedule is Poland and Belgium. Running through our quarterfinals, we're keeping on the men's side. Poland also a medal winner at the previous edition of the World Cup. They took bronze. Now they take on an undefeated Belgium team in their own backyard. Not an easy task for anybody. They will take it on right here, right now. Zibo, Pablo, Shimon, and Dede. Here come the Lions. You can feel the floor shaking in this place. Belgium hadn't lost a single game yet. 4-0 coming out of group play straight to the quarters, including a win in overtime over the USA. Thibaut Vorvoort, one of the top scorers in the competition. One of the top players in all of 3x3 at just 24 years old. It's his show. As we are playing under the lights, the Lions flags are flying. And there he is. Every Belgian 3x3 fan knows that name. Must see TV. 
Thibaut Vervoort along with Nick Sellis, Brian Devalk, and Maxim Depout. They'll get it warmed up, and first they will uh, do the point flip. Zebo says we won't fall. Of course they do. There's the ball. Showing us some of that bounce. He's playing with a hell of a lot of confidence these days. Zamoyski and company in the white. He's been known to take over a game or two. He's got some offensive ability. He's also got a collection of dimes out here in Antwerp. This mixtape is on point. That guy's been on point like a harpoon. Thibault Vodevort, amongst the top scorers, as I mentioned. Not just amongst the top scorers, he is the top scorer. My bad, 33 points, 8.2 per game for him. Meantime, Nick Sellers with 14 points. The Vault with 16. And DeBout, their second leading scorer, with 20 points, averaging about five points per game. Crowd chants are starting to begin here. As we are almost set for this 10 minute sprint, the home standing Lions trying to win their first ever gold medal here at the World Cup. First ever medal, period, at the World Cup. Poland come in off of a 20 to 17 win over Mongolia. We haven't seen the Lions since day three of this competition, so they've had time to rest and heal up a little bit. This Olympic lace Belgian team with three Olympians on the court against them. Let's get it. Poland will start with it on the left. Devault defending on Zebo. Zebo dribble drive. The move, pull up, hand up, so what? Between DeVolk's eyes, Sellers will turn the corner. Nice dribble move. He goes up on Pablo. He had him dazed and confused. 1-1. One, one. Zamoyski with Vervoort defending. Ardouche, one-legged runner. Who he think he is? Doncic, baseline. It's good. One-point lead for the Poles here early. Zamoyski, jab step, cast it. Sellers sets up Devalk. Brian is fouled. Devalk, a no nonsense player, doesn't care to have all the credit and recognition, but he is huge on this Belgian team. Playing with a ton of confidence these days. Talked to him earlier. He told me that it, it's so much better to be able to play in front of fans that actually cheer for you. He said playing in Serbia and other places around the world, and you don't have anybody cheering for you. He said his family's finally able to watch him, and that's been a part of the difference why Belgium has played so well, just riding the energy of all the support around them here in their own backyard. You can call it the Lions Plains. Here at Grunplatz, Pavlovsky, no. Vodovort to Depout. Depout back to Vodovort, must see TV. Oh, he sold the bag, can he make good on it? Oh, Devault missed the crib. He's gonna have to have a short memory with that one. Can't dwell on the pass, and a game is so fast. Comes Zamoyski, Zebo fading, missing. 
DeBout. He's been a dynamic scorer. And a new addition on this Belgian national team, Sellis misses. He puts it up, he misses again. Bernavort will give it up. All eyes on Must See TV. It opens up things for his homies. Zebo making the moves on Sellis. Wild shot. And Dedusko couldn't, couldn't get that up in time. So a shot clock violation. Belgium and Poland. They met at the Olympic Games. A Belgian win over the Poles in the pool phase. DeVault will reroute. He chucks the deuces and sees it roll off. Here comes the douche go. Spin move. The point on the move, and he finishes with the one-handed poke. 5-5 five, five game, Arduch. Off the iron it goes, DeVolk will clear it himself. He splits a couple of poles. And a foul on White, actually, holding down DeVolk. So Brian will open up the possession top of the key for the Lions. The pout, oh, and another fa or foul on Poland. As the pout got to a spot, Pablo didn't move his hips quick enough. But the Vort will give it up. He'll set up on the left wing and let Clerk Kent go to work. DeVault will drive and kick. Sellers will move right. He got a step and he gets a look. But he didn't have the service from range. Pablo likes that mid-range release, but that one is short. For the board coming around, look how much attention he draws. They double team must see TV. Oh, how about Zebo? He's going off like a fire alarm. Seven to five. Zamoyski forced one up that time. And it's not gonna go. We got a TV timeout, so we gotta go for a moment. Seven to five game. Poland leads. Let's listen in to Belgium. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I start left. Okay. So forth we go in a Poland. Belgium showdown. There's Musi TV. He will wet you up from deep. 7-7. Seven, seven. He finally got a look and he knocked it down. It's been tough for Vervoort to get good looks. He's been double teamed a lot and that's something that's usually a death sentence in 3x3. You only got three players. You, you never double team. He's that dangerous. And then you leave him open and you see the result. For the board, drops it off, Sellis. Keep your eyes on the prize. The Lions pride in front by one. Spavlovsky is shoved by Nick Sellis, who does not dispute the foul. He said, yeah, it was me. Oh. <laughs> At first, he pushed him, and then he brought his hands back like, I didn't do anything. And then he said, yeah, you got it. 8-7, <laughs> another whistle. Yasmina Juric and Edmund Ho. 
handling this one. That ball free. Back to the poles. Dedushko, he decides to let it fly. But the two back rims, Maxime Deport, Depout. What a dime! Precise from Must See TV to Clark Kent. Zebo with the force and a shot clock violation. The Lions are lit. Look at this 3x3 community here in Antwerp. Nine seven lead for Belgium. Nice deal for the Poles. Poland's played in some tough environments before. They do not get shook easily. A veteran group here from Poland, and only a one possession game. Under the midway point, 4.45 and counting. Zamoyski, offensive foul is called. Pavlovsky was trying to set him a screen. He was moving. Take a look. That's why the whistle was blown. Six fouls on Belgium. Something they got to be careful with. Vodvort coming around. Hesitation, the runner, the teardrop. That got the crowd emotional. 10-7. Zebo pull up. He's got the green light. Green release. One point game. Vervoort to Sellis. Going down to the cellar, but he can't, comes up empty. That ball missed dribble. But I think, no, I was gonna say off of uh, Belgium, but no. Off of Zebo's foot, he's gonna get a rest. Oh, nice backdoor cut, the pout. Pablo with a good look, but great defense from Sellers as he pokes away. He's got the Wilson over to DePout. Clark Kent trying to do some things himself. He takes a bump, leans away off the glass, off the rim. Oh, he picked his pocket like Peter Piper picks peppers. Oh, and Sellers blew the crib. You got to have those. Pavlovsky, no. Val White and Sellers knows that he let one go right there. Powell will open the possession for the Lions. Vervoort coming around. Up fake. He is not giving, being given any space whatsoever. He fades away. That one air mailed. So every shot. Vervoort is just being harassed. Poland known to be a defensive team. 
And they are within striking distance here. So Moisky is rested, and he's got another dime in his collection. The point to the left, Muscle Milk. Zebo, oh, he lost it. The Valk has it. He'll screen as Must See TV lost it. He fades. And a couple of misses. As Brevort will get a rest. Zamoyski, he's taking some tough shots. And the Belgians have defended Zebo almost as tightly as they've defended Vodvort. As the Poles have defended Vodvort, they don't want to give him any free looks. The bout down low. Sellers back out to the bout. He's a capable scorer. 14 10 after the big double. The crowd is in it. <laughs> so a 14 10 game, Arduce to Zebo. He elevates with a hand in his face, makes the shot tough. Sellers with DeVault. DeVault, instead of shooting a two, they're going to take their time. Must see TV back over to Sellers. Sellers up fake, drives baseline. And the crowd is roaring again. 15-10 game. The Belgians with some space, but our douche chucks the deuce, and it's a three-point contest. Sellis takes him on a drive straight to the rim. Zebo's turn, but he misses it. Duvall comes down with the rebound. Duvall over to Vervoort. Zabot trying to set him up, and Ardouche is whistled for the foul. Poland wants a timeout. 120 left in this game, a four-point lead for the Lions in front of their home crowd. Oni się napalą na rzuc o dwa. Dajcie po rolu piwkę, dobra? Dobra, no. Dwa bok, chcecie? Czy sobie to trzy? Zdrowie się ale przebiegnie. Zdrowie się ale przebiegnie. Dawaj, Zdrowie, dawaj. Trzy! Minute 20 to go. Polo's not out of this thing yet. Two possession game. Must see TV to the bout. The bout. He's got a step going to the right, and he finishes with the lay. A fist pump to the crowd. As they can taste it. The rebound to the Belgians. One minute to play and a five point lead. Duvall spinning, missed it. He won't get the score. That is a foul, which is number seven, I believe, on Belgium. It is. That will put Prism Slazomoyski at the line, shooting two. He's hearing the booze, but he stays focused through, through the sound. And they're starting up again. Oh, and that one rattles off. Four point game. And 
Nowoyski feels like that went off of Belgium. He feels like that should be Poland ball. And why not? 48 seconds left. Good time to, to challenge. They'll get a little bit of a breather here. In a two possession game, you'll be the judge. Oh, yeah, I think. I think that did go off Celis. I think that should be white ball. That's a smart, smart challenge by Zamoyski. So they'll take a closer look at it. We'll, we'll see if the scores table also decide that it's the right thing. So with 48 seconds left here, you got to remember, if Poland hits a two or even draws a foul and knocks down both free throws, oh, that challenge, yeah, the challenge was lost. Okay, they got a better look at it than me. So it is Lions ball. Clerk Kent, he'll get it over to Vredevoort. Let's see what Zebo does with it here. They need a score, and they're willing to give up that layup in exchange for the possession, where they can use 12 seconds off the shot clock and off the game clock. But oh, that's an offensive foul. They won't get free throws with the offensive foul, but they will get the ball down three. One takes the play. Zebo with Clark Kent in defense. He puts up a two. It's too strong. Devolk rebounds. And a quick foul. So here Devolk is with 12 seconds to go in this one. Long on the first, but his team does have a three point advantage. So, a fourth a point here that would give him a four point lead. That is essentially going to seal the deal. The two is long, and not enough time for the Poles to get a win here. It is going to be the Lions in their own backyard. They remain unbeaten. They have not lost in front of this crowd yet here in Grunplatz. Antwerp, Belgium is lit. The bronze medalist from 2019 will not play on, but they played hard. And that's all that matters. So while the players exchange congratulations for a hard-fought game, Maxim Debout sets up with Julien Debout after that huge Lions win. Ju. Max, uh, Max, we knew that this Polish team was very talented. They had three players who played at the Olympics. They never gave up. What do you think made the difference in the last few minutes of the game? Yeah, uh, indeed, it's uh, just an amazing feeling here. And uh, we knew uh, before the tournament that we had a great team and we can beat everybody. And uh, we play at home here with such an atmosphere. It's just amazing. What well, a feeling is, is my best, the best feeling I ever had in my career. Uh, that's crazy, man. Uh, I'm so, so happy. And now just uh, go to the end. Max, you, you, came to this, you came to this team very late in the process. You didn't play last year. You're just starting here. This week has been like a, like a fairy tale already. How, how has this whole week been for you? But yeah, uh, indeed, I'm a pretty kind of new of the team. Uh, not so many people believed in me at the beginning, but now I prove I got my place here in this team. So I'm proud of myself. 
to just, I made the work. It's been two months, it was really tough for me to, to be far from my family. So I'm really, really happy. It's uh, the, sacrifice, the sacrifices just pay you now and I'm really happy. Congratulations. Thank man. you, thank you everybody. Yeah, I think they believe now. The Powder's had a great tournament with his uh, fellow Lions. Again, the second leading scorer on his team behind uh, Thibault Vordvort. He really had it cooking in their first two pool play games, and he's chipped in when necessary ever since then. His contributions in this one were absolutely necessary in a win or go home situation and a very talented Poland team. But there could be only one team that would advance to the semifinals and that is Belgium. This is after we saw Serbia advance in a clash of the Titans with Latvia. At the end of the day today, only four men's teams will remain and only four women's teams will remain. As we will get to our semis, our final and our bronze medal games tomorrow. An incredible run so far and we are not even close to being done. I love it. I hope you do too. The Belgians riding the energy of this electric crowd. Poland did a pretty good job against Thibaut Grovort. He didn't get any easy shot. Everything was made difficult. Tough shots put up by Zebo. He was cooking at first, but there's the pout some of what his imprint was on this game, inside, outside. Big strike there, Clerk Kent getting to the crib. And the Lion fans with plenty to scream about in this one. While the women's team was eliminated, the men's team moves on on that flick of the wrist. Vervoort is on a dream run as the gold medal dream continues for the Lions. Go Belgium. <laughs> I like that sign. Oh man, no sign that things are gonna slow up here because we're gonna get it back over to the women's competition and get our first look at Spain. They come into the quarters undefeated. We do, we did see the French women handle their business easily against Mongolia. And that's how they land here in a 2-4 matchup. France, the two seed, Spain, the four seed. We'll see Lithuania and Poland on the women's side, as well as we already saw Canada, Canada and the United States. But a China-Belgium matchup is next. After, of course, Spain and France takes center stage. France is on the court with Leticia Guapo, Minyu Toure, Miriam Jekundade, and she's much faster than a limousine. <laughs> I'm gonna call her Mighty Mouse. Le Monson has shown a lot of skill. Hortense is the spoon that stirs the tea when you want to talk about driving and creating. Her quickness has really wreaked havoc on defenses, so Sandra Igueravide will get that assignment many times. So look out for Hortense, Le Monson, and Sandra Igueravide. Yeah. So Spain, you'll get the ball first. Okay? Have a good one. That's hard to say. Oh, up first. Here are our officials. Cecilia Tonk and Glenn Tewitt. Olympic experience in front of your face. And let me show some love to, to Glenn, who recently had baby Nova. He's a young dad. <laughs> No, he, he says she's been wearing him out, but he, I mean, you can see the love in his eyes. I am not mad at that. Congrats again. 
as they will uh, handle things and officiate. Sandra Igedevide, the former world number one. Europe Cup MVP as she led Spain to gold after all kinds of hiccups along the road. Devastating defeat that prevented them from making the Olympics at the OQTs. The last trip to the World Cup ended in devastation as well in 2019. A loss to Hungary at the elimination stage in overtime. Overtime had been friendly to them. Time to get to work. And Spain are going to draw first blood. Aitana, who's your mama? Maria Page. She will shovel it over to Guapo. Hoop and the horn. So let's see if. La Guapa can give her team an advantage here at the line. She shoots. Shout out to Lynn to its wife, Chantel. She says, you leave my young, my young papa alone. <laughs> All right, my young dad alone. Congratulations to you as well. Beautiful thing. Good people. 2-1. Here we go. Kanea, oh, nearly threw that away. Kimano has it taken away. Igueravide wants it back. They stealing from each other. Where are the authorities at? There's one. She blew the whistle up top. Tatilia says foul. And look at Kimano. She's gonna get the ball right now. She feels like she got an advantage here against Page, she puts it up, but how tough is Page? Page holding her own, despite being outmatched size-wise. So Sandra Igenavide starts things off. Nobody's guarding Aitana. She couldn't get the layup to go. Oh. Get a V-Day, put that pass a little bit out of reach for Cuevas. Guapo to Page. Page back to La Guapa. No. Off the rim. And out of bounds. 2-2, it stays. In terms of the head-to-head, -head, these two teams have met a whole lot. This is the eighth meeting since 2016 at our international competitions, whether it be the Europe Cup or the World Cup. Aitana puts the cookie in the cup. Guapo going for the scoop. Kanea will come down with it. Kanea picks up the dribble. Down to the post office. You've got mail. Page with her team trailing by two. She makes her move right to left. Floaty rolls out. Just over eight minutes to play early in this quarterfinal. Aitana's been on a scoring tangent as France has not had an answer for her. These two met at the Europe Cup semifinals last year in Paris in France's own backyard, something that they don't want to be reminded about, I'm sure, but Spain ended up beating them and route to that gold medal. Yeah. 
Two piece, no biscuit. The dos is bien, as Spain lead it by four. Jacundade gets the lay. Spain able to win the head to head in the Europe Cup final 2019. That was three years ago. The most recent hookup between these two at the Europe Cup semifinals. Again, a Spain win. That free throw, Cushy. 6 3. Jay Kundade to Hortense. Hortense lets it fly off the iron, cannot track it down. Bullet pass over to Eat Garavide. But she did not have any reception for that connection. Page. Oh, got her cookie stuck. Look at that defense. Kanea. Oh, behind the back. Kimeno couldn't finish it. And then she gets whistled for the foul. Dade getting some pressure from Aitana. Guapo running into traffic. He get a V day. Couldn't track it down. Pache. Two. No. Jekundade. She's got good length on the inside and a great nose for the ball. She will shoot one after a break into action. Seven point lead for Espana. Let's listen in to the French hug. Dade cannot knock down a free throw. Rebound to Raguapa. Oh, missed the layup. Had to move. And Kanea wants the ball. Three in the key. She was in there a little bit too long. Light showers coming down. Court is covered from, thanks to Magic Sky. The temperature is dropped, but the intensity is turning up. The quarterfinals are underway here in Antwerp. Kanea over to Igedavide. Here comes Le Bleu. Look at, well, I thought she was going to hit it, but that must have slipped or something. 6.09 to play. And Guapo, yeah, you look at that reverse attempt. That's good defense. Pache. 
too long. Pull up. Uh-uh. And they had touched it last. It's going to be French ball. Spain beat that strong Canadian team that you saw top the USA. Handled Chile easily. Beat the Netherlands as well. Didn't lose at all in the pool phase. Right now, they've got a three-point advantage trying to keep this win streak alive. Oh, nice feed. Kim Eno. She puts it up and in. Spain now up 8-4. France had to find some offense. That foul call on Igueta Vida. She laughs that one off because she has a seat on the bench. Hortense pulls up, misses it. Kanea hit the deck. That one trickles in. Kanea drives to the baseline with Limousin in pursuit. Kanea's turnaround, uh-uh. Guapo, trigger pull, misfire. No basket, a walk, wipe it away. Fun still keeping pace. Here comes Page, steps through. Jekundade all open. Sandra, Aitana put her in the blender. Nine six it is, Page will get a good look. And she's starting to cook. Get a V day. She's got Kanea. Kanea, runner from long range. She almost hit that. That would have been crazy. That one, you see Aitana pointing. Saying that's off her. It is Franz Ball. The quarterfinals in front of you. Only one team goes through. Single elimination plays. Yekundade to the crib. All of a sudden, it's a one-point game. You get a Vide Kanea. Makes her move past Page. Rebound goes to Yekundade. She and Lee Song, champions at the U23 level. Oh, Limi's. <laughs> She didn't finish it, but she had her all mixed up. Meantime, Jimeno, she's pumped up. Her two is true. Oh, Jekundade misses, falling away. You get a V-Day to Kanea. Look what is going on down there. What's that game where you got to put your hands and your feet on the circles? <laughs> what is that? Somebody help me out. That's what they were just doing. Let's listen in to this huddle. Sí, sí, sí. 
pues vamos a hay mover el equilibrio dentro de fuera, chicos. Sí. Hay que tirar algún tiro de tres. Más, ¿eh? Hemos tirado todos forzados. Sí. Hemos metido dos. Por, 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 por eso hay que tirar. Encima hemos metido dos. All right, as we get back to it, you get a V Day and Aitana working the two woman gang. You get a V Day, missed it from deep, but Aitana is a, normally a terror down there. But you see Guapo, I think she says no. Aitana, beautiful spin move. Jimenez back on top of Limo Song. She's so low to the ground, when she starts boxing people out, they just naturally lean on her. Eleven eight, 8 Jimeno. That foul called on Hortense. Oh, and she does not capitalize at the strike. Hortense, Limousson, she flicks the wrist, but it's off target. Look at Kanea sprinting around the perimeter. That pass is taken. Guapo. Hortense driving off balance shot attempt. Don't worry. She finishes her leftovers. Guapo makes it a 9-11 game front within reach, but Aitana cannot be stopped. Guapo missed dribbles. Cuevas, the third leading scorer coming out of pool play. She's averaged 7.2 points per game throughout this tournament. She's been an unstoppable force in this game, especially on the block. Jay Kundade from deep. Oh, that's a that's gonna be a, a travel. Yeah, move their feet. You gotta be there down low, Aitana. Second in player value through the first four games. Nobody more valuable on España than her. France respond though with a deep uh, two piece. 11 13. You get a Vide sit back. Those, those long arms of Minium. Otans to Jay Kundade making her move on Aitana. She says, try to stop me. You're not the only dominator out here. One point game. Kanea getting some pressure from Jay Kudade. Aitana. She thought she had a layup. She lost it out of bounds. She wanted a whistle. We don't always get what we want. Hands from Jimeno, nearly stole it. Guapo makes her move on Kanea. Goes begging. It's off white. What a game here. Another one that's coming down to the wire here in the quarterfinals. You knew that it was going to be one of those days. The World Cup is just different. You get a V-Day, 
Bullet pass. Aitana, you know where she's going. To the post. That's a foul red. Number six, as both teams have six fouls, a timeout, white. Spain leading by one. Pajet thought about the pass. Wapo will streak to the rim. We're tied, 13 apiece. 10 seconds to go. This is where legends are made. Sandra Iguera driving, kicking. Jimeno with two seconds to shoot. She puts it up. Jay Condale says, no, ma'am. We are going to OT. You couldn't write a script that would make it any better. <laughs> so we talked about all the overtime heartbreakers this Spain has had to deal with over the years. Previous World Cup, the OQTs. Can they finally exercise their demons and become the victor in OT? First team to score two wins it. Sandra Iguanavide, she's been here before. How will this story play out this time? Marie Page with the fake of the day. She pressed pause and then fast forward. Iguanavide to Kanea Aitana will give him a tie game. Next bucket wins. Jekundade to Page. Back to Page. She's working on Aitana. Page has it poked away. Kanea with the cookie in hand. She's going to turn the corner. She wants to get it to Iguanavide. Both former world number ones going at it. Iguanavide is sent away. La Guapa is not having it. The fans are on their feet in a game that's most certainly deserving of it. I know y'all's tired of me screaming in your ear, but I can't help myself. 14-14. Spain want a timeout. They want to talk this over with 3.8 seconds on the shot clock. And we want to listen in, so I'll be quiet. So Sandra Iguanavide guarded by Page. She's got 3.8 to get a shot up. Next score wins. Kimeno, she doesn't get that shot up in time. That's a shot clock violation. They're playing on anyway. So now it's France's turn. As this game has everybody on the edge of their seats. Page to Guapo. Mariev. Guapo for the scoop miss. Jekundade. She'll clear it herself. 
Pajay with Igena Vide in front. She makes her move, drops it off. Guapo, step back for the win, no. Jimeno can't come away with the rebound. Pajay, she'll put it up and in. Now the question is, did possession change and should that have been cleared? I think that's what the officials are discussing. They're saying, hold off the celebration. And Igalavide is saying that possession change and that ball should have been cleared. It happened fast. I want to get a look at it myself. So take a look. Guapo shoots. Spain never get possession of that. So take another look. There's off the rim. They did beat the shot clock. So Page needed to clear that ball to continue play. I think that they're going to have to reset this thing. And um, wait, no challenge. Challenge is lost. Ball game. Maybe I misunderstood that one because she did get the offensive rebound. And again, the possession never changed. Spain never came down with it. So, what a win. And a battle between these two teams. Wow. Somebody had to win it in OT, and for Spain, it is another L in the extra period. For France, they're moving on to the semifinals. As Marie Page stands by with Julien Debove. Let's get it over to him, Ju. Marie I remember last year in front of the Eiffel Tower, a very, very frustrating and sad loss for you and your team against Spain. But this time, you are not going to let this team Spain beat you. Yeah, for sure. When we saw that we will play against Spain, we all remind, remind that we lost in semi-final at home, so it's a little bit of revenge for us. But it's a different team with different story. The goal is to go to the semi-final, and we did it. I'm very proud of my team about that. Yeah, what a roller coaster! What a roller coaster of emotion in this game with the overtime and 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 this game winner lead us through all this overtime how it went for you and your team. I'm not pretty sure that you understand the question. This game was a roller coaster of emotions. So many things happen. Uh, tell us about what happened in overtime, and especially this last, this last basket where you knew that you could score and you, you made the game winner. Yeah. yeah, sure. It's a lot of emotion, but this time it's a good emotion because we won. So it was amazing. We never give up. We fight all the time. We, I think we were really smart to don't make fun and to be clean. And fi finally, the key payoff. So I'm so happy. Okay, see you in the semifinals. Team France into the semifinals. Man, that end of that game had me all lost and confused. It happens quickly. But you'll see uh, once we get to that portion of the replay, off that miss when France got the offensive rebound, it never changed possession. So Spain never really had it, although Jimeno got a hand on it. So France continued with play, and Maria Page put it up and in. This was a game that we saw being absolutely dominated by Aitana Cuevas. She took everything she wanted like a robbery, except for the win. It was so tight, you could guess that it was probably going to go to overtime. Everybody putting their best foot forward. How about Jay Kundade in this game? She was aggressive. Played great on the defensive end. Vega Jimeno doing Vega Jimeno things. Hitting clutch buckets as she knocks down the two. Aitana, as I said, they couldn't stop her. In OT, she continued to do her thing. It was 13 to 13 as we went into that overtime period. One of the more difficult makes for Jeku Dade in the game. Rematch was on. 
Pajay with the stop and go, the red light, green light. It's Aitana. She got the score to tie in OT. You can tell how bad La Guapa wanted it. This is how it played out. She misses the two, never changes possession. Page comes back, gets the rebound and puts it up and in. There was some slight confusion, mainly on my part, but it ends up going up and in. And Spain, they've had that look on their face before. France gets some, some get back here in Antwerp as uh, we still have a couple more quarterfinals to handle on the men's side and the women's side as we'll see the homestanding cats in action. In the meantime, uh, we're going to get some wheelchair 3x3. A lot of respect to, to these guys. This is a hard game to play and they are enjoying the fun themselves. Black versus yellow. Ten minutes on the clock, and they'll uh, they'll get to go at it. All right, so we won't get to our next game until about 8.10. We're going to get a session, a significant session break, so better than an hour and a half before we finish up our quarterfinals and finalize the semifinal bracket. So if you've been hanging with us up to this point, thank you. Uh, take a short break, or more than a short break. We're back at 8.10 local time, an hour and a half, as we will wrap up day five when we come back at the FIBA 3x3 World Cup 2022 from here in Antwerp. Number 25, Davy Vickers. Number 26, 
three and seven minutes, ten seconds left. Oh, offensive rebound and point by the number seven black team for the lead one point. Exhibition on court just before the last session of FIBA 3 x 3. Turn on World Cup at 8 15, the first game in Ukraine versus Poland. Thank you. 
minutes 35 seconds to go. Okay. Under the rim and left hand basket one point lead black team. Sponsor and partner of the competition. 